hey guys welcome back to my channel so before i start the video i just want to make a quick announcement um from now on i will now be doing more of house tours and different building tours rather than sims videos i will still be uploading those kind of videos but i will my main focus will mostly just be house tours and other building tours so today i'm going to be showing you guys the tour of this family farm so it includes a grocery store and like some a little garden area for visitors to come and then it's got a farm as well as the family house so this is just kind of like a bird's eye view and we're going to start off with the entrance of the farm so this is what it looks like from the outside and this is the grocery store entrance so a lot of people come here because this farm is very close to the main city. It's just a very small grocery store with a, even a little mini bakery section, but it still has everything, all the essentials needed. We've got some bookshelves over here with the different ingredients and things to buy, as well as jam jars because they make fresh picked jam. However, a lot of their stuff is shipped from outside. But all the natural stuff, like including the fruits, vegetables, gems, etc., are all natural. And they even offer coffee to the customers. So over here is a little garden area. This is kind of like open to all visitors. And it's just like a mini fenced off area. So you can reserve it for like a picnic or like a party. Kind of like a venue almost. And we've got like this bench over here and different seating area. Lots and lots of plants, if you notice, and lighting and decorations. A little water fountain in the middle and that little picnic blanket. So that's mostly the only area that's available to the public. This is the garden area where they grow all their fruits and vegetables. So as you can see, there's also lots of vine plants, like grape plants, which they also use to produce wine. And this is a family farm that they've been living on for a very long time and many gen generations before have lived on it. So over here we have our dad and their owl as well as their crow. And this is like a little mini orchard that is available to visitors, but only for some times of the year. And yeah, this is more of their farm area. This part is not available to visitors because this is more like their home area. So we've got like their compost bins. Um you know their front porch the mom over here is just lawn mowing and the grandma is just doing some more plants these are the plants that grow have to grow in um plant boxes so she is watering these plants and she just mowed through her so we have this little dog house as well as some stacked wood and yeah So over here is like their mini garage. It doesn't really have any cars in it, but it just has like their garage things. And this, it has, it just has like the trash and um, some more gardening supplies, that kind of thing. So they use the ladder and the fire pole to go up and down to the balcony, which is where they, which is where they dry their clothes um, because they live in a place that does not rain very often, but it rains just enough so that they can still grow plants. But whenever it's not raining, they like to hang up their clothes up on the balcony. So now we're going to, sh I'm going to show you guys the family house. This is a pretty big family and they also live with their grandparents. So this is a living room. As you can see, there's like a lot of seating areas so that each person has a seat. We've got some bookshelves and a fireplace. And yeah, pretty much just a basic living room. And as you can see, it's kind of got like an old kind of look to it or like a rustic look because this house is very old. Um, this is a dining area, and it's got seats for everyone, a little hatch there, and the dog bowl. We've got the store that leads into the kitchen, which also looks rustic. The fridge is extremely old, but they still have it because it still works. Um, yeah, the grandpa is cooking inside the kitchen, and yeah. The kitchen's very big because the, um, the grandma sometimes spends time making baked goods to sell at the grocery store. And then we've got this little like um, laundry room, which is just has like all the laundry essentials as well as a vacuum. 
and then you got the master bedroom it doesn't really look like a master bedroom and i know it's weird that it's on the first floor but i decided that because this is kind of like an older design it would kind of make more sense if it was different and over there is a master bathroom pretty small but it's still the master bathroom so yeah that's pretty much it for the first floor And yeah, so now we're going to go up to the second floor. Uh, this is the hallway, and it's got like some old vinyls and stuff, and a little chest with the dog's toys in it. Uh, yeah, they also have a pet pig. And then you got this little like seating area. It's still kind of like a hallway, but yeah, it leads to other rooms. And then we've got uh, this uh, boy's bedroom, and this is for one of the teenage boys. He was the one working at the grocery store so his room is pretty simple it's got like really rustic looking furniture and yeah that's pretty much it for his room uh then you got this little balcony area it's just kind of a seating area and we've got the uh kids bathroom so because there's four kids they need a really big bathroom so we got four sinks got the tub and we got two toilets as well as the a uh, shower room if you can see it there Then we've got the grandparents part. So I'm calling it a part because that section is like mostly for the grandparents. We've got their bathroom, a little um, office area, and their bedroom. The bedroom's pretty simple, rustic furniture, etc. Then we go over into the teenage girl's bedroom. And this is her bedroom. And here she is working, doing some homework on her desk. And her bedroom actually has a bit more modern furniture, but a lot of it is still pretty rustic. Then we go over into the little boys and girls bedroom and it's unfortunately not really letting me show it to you i think there's some kind of glitch but right now you can see it and it's got two beds uh there's a toddler and a preteen so we've got like the preteen bed and we've got like the dresser and yeah and if you saw there were also some toddler toys etc so yeah that's pretty much it for this video don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends